Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're gonna we're gonna have to have more than eight running this route, I think. We're able to do it pretty quickly, but yeah, we, we're definitely gonna need more than eight. There's there's one on his way back there. There's the other guys. Get this place. This is really quite amazing. We also need to get a little bit of bread delivered to the the, the people out there, don't we? I've got to set up one more truck to do that run. And here it is. Right in here. What's that? Alright, let me zoom out from there a minute. Go on here. Line six, one loaf of bread. How did I even get one loaf of bread on there? How did I get one loaf of bread onto line six? Like, seriously, how did that even turn up? That I have no clue. But right here, I've got a whole load of grain over there. This one has got 46 grain. This one has got 27 bread on there. One on line four, five on line three. So it, it is moving them out. Line four, it's only got one there at the moment. But it is definitely taking them out. And you over here... You're doing, a, you're doing a grand job. You're, you're doing wonderful. Right. This is good. This is all good news. So we're moving... Liberating translators. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Increase the food factory level. So how do I do that? Suppliers. 122, 56% transport, 85. Consumers. Aleppo has not had anything. Eregli has had a boatload. Konya's had a fair bit as well. Erectly is doing just grand. Uh, right, now, yeah, Aleppo is saying zero. Why is Aleppo saying zero? Adana. Oh, is that... That's what it needs, is it? Right, Erectly is getting 100% on there. We'll see. I, I I don't quite know if we've got this going right at the moment. But you in here, Adana North, this is a bit more of a problem. Because these guys are still just coming back. They haven't even gotten on to the next one yet. So if I look in here, i got 24 there on line 5 ready to roll out. Uh, Snack and he can take 5 at once. Snack and Cactus isn't the one that I want though. Jason Anthony is one of them. He will take five. I've got eight of them, so I'm able to transport 40 loaves of bread on the line if I've got 40 there to take. I don't. I've only got 28. I don't have enough to take out yet. So I might need more grain coming in, possibly. i got one stored grain. I think we're going to have to add more grain, because, like, here, if I can add in some more grain ones, in order to speed this up, I think we also need to modify this one. So we'll go there and we'll go to Configure. Uh, we go to cargo like this, and I can extend it out this way a bit. Right, it will let me do that. There. And it will let me do that. It will let me do that, and it will let me do that. I can't put it out that side. Oh, wait a minute. Take that one off. Uh, right, I can do it like that, there. And I can add another one over that side. I can't do this because that's going to put a collision in. But I can extend those two back like that. So then I've got more stations that they can use. I can actually bring even... Wow. How, how big can I... I? This one needs to be big. I know this one needs to be big. We want this one to be a nice big station. Add them all in. Look at this. That is a beautiful station. That is an absolute... That, how is that for a station? That is absolutely wonderful. Look at all of that. So now they can come in and they shouldn't have to be queuing up too much. I should be able to have them all running in and out of there without any problems whatsoever. That is going to be absolutely wonderful. Kind of like the one that I got over here. I'm proud of that. I really am. I, I'm, I'm proud of that. Line 5 over here. 8 months for a cycle. He's got five. He's, he's, he's just heading off. We're going to have to get some more of those. I would say we're probably going to have to get ten more of them or something like that. I am going to do one thing, though. I need ten 
lots of food delivered. I'm going to take it from the station over here. And it's going to go over to the Western Desert Tribe. And we're going to set up one more line. So it's going to go uh, line manager first. New line. From there over to that one over there. Franklin Street, that one's going to be. Uh, yep, that's that bit done. And then I want to go here. Conyer Road Depot by vehicles. I want one of those. Bye. That one right there is called... Where are we up to? Getting through these names pretty quick. We did Jason Anthony as the last one, didn't we? So this one is Ryder. Ryder right there is going to supply the people up the top. There. Uh, set you on to... Zoom down a little bit. There. Line 8. You're away. Line 8. He's all the way down over here. Now, the next thing that I want to do is that I want to be getting more of this stuff coming through, right? Irregularly west over there. I got 41 sitting in that station. I got 45 sitting in that station over there. Bread down here. I've got three stored. On the line over here, I've only got like 25 for the long line. And not that many for the others either. So, I want to... Line 2 needs to be increased. What have I got at the moment on line? I've got two vehicles. So we're going to double that one up to four vehicles on line 2. I don't know if that's right or wrong. May need to just increase the space on there a little bit. They're dropping off here. I don't know if I should... Oh, I know what I can do. You can change this round, can't you? Line 4... Manage line. Ah, there. Right. Lower Konya, Irregly Brand. This is Lower Konya right here. I wanna... Oh, they are moving over. They are move. No, they're moving over to pick up on there. I've got red drop off on here. And i got pick up over here. He's on number two. Platform two right there. Terminal two. Change that. I've got multiple terminals here. So, line three, we will start off Lower Konya here. Line three is going to go Terminal five. There. Line four is going to go Terminal four. Line five is going to stick with Terminal one. That's the most. That's going to be the busiest one. And then line six, seven, and eight, they don't come over here. So actually, those two, they don't need to go all the way over there. They can move back a little bit. Line 4 can move to Terminal 2. Wait, which is Terminal 1? That's over there. Line 5. A lower Konya Terminal 2. I shouldn't have you on number 1, should I? So what have I got? I got 1, 2... I'm not quite sure how this works out. Right, let's have a look here. That is Lower Konya in a configure. I don't know which is which, to be honest. A street access on here. Oh, I see. That's how you add in more street access. So I can put some street access from here over to that side to make it even easier for some of these trucks. I'm not going to do that. Line five. That one's going... I don't want that one to go there. I want that one to go over onto this side. I want that side there to be the drop-off point. Manage line. So, Lower Konya, that's Terminal 1. I'm going to set this one to Terminal 2. There. Right, so that's moved everything over there onto Terminal 2. You are Terminal 1. Lower Konya, Lower Konya. You should also... Uh, terminal 2. Yes. So then line three, this will be... You know, let's just do it like this. Line three, there. Line four, terminal four. Line five, terminal five. There. Right, that's better. That's I think, is a better way of doing this. So I've got lots of stuff over there on terminal five. That's all space. I've got over 40 of them on here. Then I'm going to go to configure like this. I'm going to go back to the cargo stations and I'm going to boost this up like this. 
So they're longer cargo stations. Right, they're longer cargo bits on there. Which allows them to come in. And it should allow, I think, more stuff to be stored on each one. I, I don't know if that's actually a thing. A uh, street access here. I'll put a street access up there. And I'll come off that. I love this configuration. This is so... It, like, the, the modular nature of it is absolutely amazing. Because it means that we've really got so many more options for this than we've had on anything that we've previously had uh, in, in the last version of the game. Uh, there are so many more options on this. This is absolutely wonderful. So we can come in here and now... These guys, they're coming up from this top end now. Right, he comes in here and he goes around there. He turns around and he goes straight back out again. I could even set an entrance and exit on here as well in order to speed this up if I wanted to. Which, again, would be an absolutely just phenomenally beautiful, wonderful thing. Look at all of this traffic coming in. There, they're all running in around there. So I want to get more grain being transported in first. So that's our next thing that we need to do. I want to go... Actually, I want to go down to the Conyer Road Depot. Buy vehicles. So I want two vehicles first up. One and two. Right there. And these two... I got Eowyn, Pendergast and Ryan King both here. So that's going to be on the yellow line there and they are go through it there so they're both going on to line two i know that i can just click on the line and i can clone the vehicle but it's easier if i do it like this for um pulling out the names let's, actually you know what let's let's try just doing it with the cloning them so i will go there like that and uh, replace clone selected vehicle i want to double up the number of vehicles i got here as well so i want another five excuse me one two three four and four five like that so i've got another five on here so let's give those some names the ones going into the towns i don't think i need to change just yet so this one here is jason entwistle so uh, jason entwistle we've also i'll look in the book it's easier than scanning through the lines uh jason entwistle hello world 617 soren mercer anders and will 8150 are the new ones on here now they should have just gone straight out onto the line they have they're all out on the line and running up and down and we've got all the different assigned lines in here so i've got 49 on line five i've got four on line four and i've got 19 on there to line three so the next thing that i want is to upgrade line five well not upgrade it i want to get some more vehicles running on line five We've got eight at the moment. I think we need to double that up. So we're going to go line five right there. Manage vehicles in here. And I'm going to go, if I go like that and I clone selected vehicles, will that just automatically double up? Yes, it has automatically doubled up. Right. Now I can go through and start naming all of these. Another eight names. Thanks to your help with the grain harvest, the Sultan is collecting a tidy sum in taxes. And those taxes, in turn, guarantee that you'll be paid. Now the most challenging part of the route lies before you. The Taurus Mountains block the way to Aleppo like the jagged back of some primeval monster. But you've overcome every obstacle so far. Many hands will be needed to conquer this compact but rugged mountain range. The best thing would be to hire enough people on both sides of the mountains. Build railway lines to bring workers from Konya to Eregli and from Aleppo to Adana. Okay. That sounds simple enough. I just need to finish putting these names in here a minute. I've got a whole load more names in here. So I'll just go down through my book and I'll read out the ones we've added in. Uh, if I remember where I started... Will8150, we already said that was in the last lot. This is They Shizij, X Farmer 89, The Feed Guy 29, Tyrone H, Old Finnish Farmer, Derek James, Amanda James, and Oklahoma Farming. They have all been added in down through here. So we've now got 16 vehicles running line 5, which I'm hoping is going to help matters a little bit. So they're whizzing along. I still need to deliver the food up here. 
It's the one bit that we're still waiting on. Ryder, he's got four of five now. Ryder has got. It's taking a while to get the food up here to Adana. Uh, the idea when we did this was to keep going until the Regley Food Factory was increased in size. So I'm assuming it's now increased in size and it's able to really keep whacking out stuff. Western Desert Tribe, minus 100%. I got 100% on all of those. Alright, let's speed that up a bit. And let's have a look at the busy one in here. How is this looking? Now that I've gone and put in all of the separate lines in here for them, this is definitely a lot better. I don't have the... Um, like, I don't have everything sort of holding up anymore. Like, these guys do hold up a little bit when they come in one behind the other, but not very much. Not really. This, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, really, this is absolutely brilliant, the way this is running. And it's running really well. And it doesn't seem to be... No one is delaying anybody else, even the ones running on the same line. They're just far enough apart, by the look of it, to keep everything moving smoothly and swishly. So there's occasionally... A little bit up around here. This is so cool. Seriously, this is absolutely brilliant. I, lo I am loving this. Oops, no, I don't want to pause it. I, I want to I let that beautiful clockwork just keep running. So I now need to build a train station so I can get uh, people from Aleppo to Adana up here. And also we want people getting to Eregli down this side. So we will start with this one over here, because we've already got a train station here. The, oh, that's a cargo station. No, it's a cargo and a people station. See? It has both people. I can, con I can configure this one as well. This is so exciting. I can change the stations as we go. I have got a passenger platform on one side. It's already over there. Passenger buildings in here. Large main, I can... Oh, this is brilliant. Look, I can add that in there if I want to. Can't put it on that side. Platforms in here. we got a little small one right there. And then I got... Platform for passengers, platform for cargo. So this is a cargo. That's the passenger one on that side. So why is this one not covered? Passenger building's there. Cargo buildings. Tracks. Miscellaneous in here. What's this? Oh, hang on. Side entrance. Street access for passengers and cargo. Ah. Right, I can add in, like, a little bit more. There, so we've got additional entrance for them. That right there. Ah, uh, the platform roof I can put on if I want to. That's only for the passenger side. Uh, passenger un underpass of passenger platforms. Wait, so what's the advantage of that? There. Yeah. It just allows the passengers to get from one station, one side to the other, does it? It's pretty cool. Alright. Well, we don't need to change anything at the moment. There's nothing coming in. But I am going to want to run something off the end of here. So that building there, unfortunately, is going to have to go. Bye. Ciao, darling. You're off. We will see you later. Uh, so I need to contact Connie with Irregli. Contact Aleppo with Adana. Bring workers from Connie to Irregli. Uh, Aleppo to Adana. So I need to bring workers from here over to this one over here. Now, do we have a train station over here? We do. We have a train station right here that is already up and running. So to start with, I want to go to... Wait a minute. That's a dead-end building. I can't... That one, That one's a non-viable entity. I'm assuming... I also cannot destroy it. Right. Non-viable entity right there. So we will instead bring our passenger station up to here somewhere. I'm going to have a through-and-through -through station here. Because I figure that we're going to be wanting to run it right through there anyway. 
So, a uh, station that will go modular. I love this modular terminus station. I don't know if you'd be able to change that around afterwards, but no, not cargo, passenger. We'll go with the passenger. And not a terminus. Just like that. I think. I'll do a double track on it. Like that, start with. And. Just bring that round a minute. Now zoom in a little bit. And I want to have... It does! It's got the underpass bit there. So you need to have that underpass bit built in. So passengers can get from one side to the other. That's something that you've actually got to have. I like that. I like that as a really cool touch. I didn't realise that you had to do something like that. Now this station here. If I bring that round like that. That's kind of pointing in the right direction where we're going to want it to go but if I bring it round a little bit more like that, I could actually put it there, I can delete a little bit of the road where we are at the moment and that one can go there and that will be heading in the right direction to go through those mountains that's so what I think we're going to want is something like that so that one I'll get rid of and then I'll come over here so I've got this Station right here. This one already exists. That's cargo and so on. So what I'd like to do is let's get, no, let's let's get rid of that a second. Click on the station, Aleppo cargo station. It just says cargo station at the moment. So I'll configure this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cargo platform from here for a minute. Bulldozer. Right, remove that bit. And then, uh, I've got, no, I've got the track right there. Oh, no, wait, I want two tracks coming in like this as part of it. Uh, one building will be removed. Yeah, you've you got to go. I've, I've only just got rid of you. Put that one in there. That one was a mistake. Platform. That one will go up there like that. And miscellaneous here. Put a covering on the platform. We've got a crossover point already. So then we go back to platforms and we go with another uh, passenger platform. Cross here. Like that. And then I want to zoom in a little bit. I've got a cross under point right there. So I need to put another cross under point, don't I? I'm going to put that one in there, and that will join together. So that will allow them to come up on both sides of the station. There, look at that. That is beautiful. It's like poetry in motion. And then we will put a cover down over our station. All the way through like this. Right there. Then from there, I'm going to go back to tracks. And... This one, you will worry about destroying that one later, I think. So, I now want more tracks. Put one, two, three, four. So, that's there is passenger on that side. And then I'll do this over here, like that. And then on the outside edge, we're going to put a single one of these. And then if I need another one, I can always... Actually, you know, we'll, we'll put that in now. I'm going to do another one right here. I'm going to run that one over to here like this. But then... Cargo miscellaneous. Passenger underpass. Side and uh, street access for passengers and cargo. How do I get cargo over onto there? Right, I, I've got the street access. I could put the street access here. So all I can do is I can put that one onto there. Give me street access on that side. I guess I... Do I need to have it? I don't know. I may need to have that. But I, I think we've got everything that we want to have on there at the moment. Right? I think that's, that's looking pretty good. So I've now gone and changed that one round by quite a considerable margin. It must be added. It must be said. It must be stated. And I'm going to go out this side first. We'll go to tracks, and I'm going to take these tracks. So I bring that one in together like that. There. 
And then bring that one out to uh, about here. And that one is going to go and join onto it like that. And then these two are going to join on together like that. And then this one here is going to go and bypass all of that lot. And it's going to join in further up, up there like that. So there's the cargo that will go in in that direction. So next, I want to be able to put stuff up that side. So I want to get rid of, first up, that road there. Then I will take the train track and we'll run from this one. And that's going to go straight out there like that. In a straight line over there. And I'm actually thinking that we could bring it down a little bit because I'm quite high on here, aren't I? So it's not going to hurt if I have the track run out from the station down to a level kind of like this. Something like that. Uh, one more there. Like that. And then one down here like that. It's not going to hurt for it to kind of come out along that point. And then I can bring it over to here. About to there. This one will join in. Like that. You will run out. To there. And then run on a bit further. And actually I'm not going to blend you in. I'm going to leave you out like that. But you two will go in together like that. And I'll leave that one back there for a minute. Right. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to leave that one open as well. So I'm just going to take this one next. I'm going to go like this. And then I'll zoom down in a little bit. And we'll move that one. It's going to go over to here somewhere. Hmm. sure if I want a bridge going across there. Got to remember that the dude that is kind of financing some of this, he is worth a penny or two. So... We don't need to worry too much about the money, so I'll bring that one in on that side over to there. I'm pleased with that. I think that's looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, connect Aleppo with Adana. I've done that bit. Now there's one more bit that we need to do. We need to go to buildings in here and you take one of those. Now, I'll put it on this side because that is the side that we don't have... Uh, any other tracks that we're going to want to bring out. So we'll put it to here like this. And then we can set a... We'll put a track going out that way. Like that. And I'll put another one going out this way. Like that. And there's always the possibility that we're going to want uh, several more coming out of there. But that's fine. We can, we can leave that and not worry about it too much. So there's that bit done. A down a train depot in here. I need to... Actually, let's first up set a new line. Yeah, a new line there. I want to go from Adana there to Adana Passenger over there. Aleppo Cargo Station. Um, both going to platform one. That's spot on perfect. Right, that's that bit done. So then we need to have a look what trains we got. What have we got in here? We have, these days, we got the BR-53 Prius G3. Which looks pretty cool. We've used that one. We've used that one. This one we have never used anywhere. I don't think. And then we got the A35 right there. That is a 100 kilometer per hour steam engine. I think we'll wait before we have that one. We'll use this one first. That's 1 1.6, uh, 3.7 million. We'll go with this one first. It's a bit slower. It's a little bit more sedate. But I actually quite like this one. I think this one does look pretty good. So I will buy that one there. And then as far as carriages are concerned, this one has a top speed of 60k. So I want some passenger wagons in here. That one's got a top speed of 60k. It's 11. That one is 100 with 14. That one is 100 with 20. Passenger car for the Sultan. Probably not the good idea to... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.